Hi, I'm Darlene. I come from very humble beginnings. I grew up feeling unloved, of little value to anyone who should love me, and unwelcome. I welcomed Jesus into my life around age 12. Jesus was my constant companion then, though I may have been too young to understand my relationship with him at that time. In my quest to find value, acceptance, and love, I made many missteps distancing myself, uh, my, me from my relationship with Jesus. I was then locked in survival mode, existing but not living. I felt as though I was serving out my punishment for choices that I had made. Through the years, I've endured many, um, much unbearable loss, betrayal, and pain that I wouldn't wish on anyone. In one of my darkest moments, I found myself on my knees asking Jesus why he left me. And his response was that he never left me, that I'd forgotten he was there. What I'd lost focus of uh, through all of my trials was that I was already valued and loved unconditionally by the only one whose love really mattered. I lay all of my burdens at Jesus' feet and sought guidance back to him. I surrendered myself to him. What I have learned was that my crucible life experiences became teachable moments for me. Jesus has blessed me even through my trials. My sons, Ryan and Kyle, another young man who is a son of my heart, though not of my blood, a young lady who is a daughter of my heart, though not of my blood, an uncle who loved me like a daughter. <clears throat> Many blessings, um, more than that, that I have not taken for granted. I have his assurance, his blessed, blessed assurance, that he's always with me and I'm not never alone. I've met some phenomenal kindred spirits along my journey. It was through my first life group and my current life group that I came to understand the roles of God the Father, Christ the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus is my rock, my refuge, my rescue, my salvation, my comforter, my big brother, my light out of the darkness, my source of peace. He gives me hope, brings me joy, he calms my fears. I am so grateful for his presence in my life and his love for me. Whatever his plans for me, I am content. I'm practicing patience, waiting on the Lord, and my journey is not over yet.